Hello, my favorite artists. Today, we are going to be talking about an artist named Wayne Tebow. He is most famous for his paintings of sweet treats. So anything that you can think of as a dessert, he probably painted. He also used something called the elements of art to create his artwork and make finished pieces. The elements of art are kind of like the ingredients of art. The different elements of art are line, shape, color, value, texture, form, and space. Really great artists take all of these elements into consideration when they are making their artwork. And Wayne Tebow does this with his artwork. So if you look at this piece of artwork that was in our first slide, it's four ice cream cones, but it also has all of the elements of art. You can see lines, you can see shapes created from the ice cream cones. The ice cream cones have form because they are three dimensional. They take up space within the artwork plane. There are different colors involved in this painting. And then also, there are textures within the ice cream cones and values within the ice cream cones, like lighter pinks to darker pinks, lighter greens to darker greens. And that all makes the artwork more detailed and more complete. Today, we are going to be drawing a slice of cake using all of the elements of art to make our artwork the best it can be. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure my paper is horizontal, which means it's long ways from left to right. And then I'm going to start by making a short line in the middle-ish of my paper. And then I'm going to make another line that's up and over from that first line. Then I'm going to connect the bottom of the first line to the bottom of the second line and then do the same thing with the tops. Now at the top of that first line, I'm going to draw a line that comes out and sort of makes a triangular shape. Then connect it to the second line. And now I'm going to decorate my slice of cake with some squiggle lines that make it look like there's icing on it. On the side of the cake, I'm going to do four little squiggle lines that makes it look like there's layers to my piece of cake. And now I need to draw my plate. So I'm going to start at the center of the top of the cake on the left side and draw an oval shape that comes out around the cake and back up to connect it on the other side. And now I'm drawing another ring just like the first one to make it look more like a plate. The last thing I need to do is draw a line that cuts through the cake and that line is called a horizon line. It makes it look like the cake is sitting on a table instead of just floating somewhere in space. And as always, I sign my name in the bottom right corner so you know whose artwork it is. And now you get to watch a super sped up video of me coloring my slice of cake. Remember that you can use any materials you have at home to color in your cake slice. That can be crayons, markers, colored pencils, paint, whatever you have. Here is what my finished cake slice looks like. I can't wait to see yours and see how you use the elements of art to make an awesome slice of cake.